So far, we have defined temperature as the average kinetic energy of the particles in a substance. It stands to reason that as you add energy, say heat, to particles, they will take on more energy, and we can translate that into temperature. In this lab, we will take a closer look at the types of changes that occur in the particles of solid water as it changes from one phase of matter to another. So we're going to heat up some ice. We are adding heat energy to the particles over a certain period of time. What do you think the temperature time graph will look like? Sketch this prediction in your lab notebook. For this procedure, you will need a lab quest, a temperature sensor, and a tall 500 milliliter beaker packed with crushed ice. On top of the lab quest is a variety of plugins. The temperature sensor plugs into the USB port on the left. In the main menu, where you probably still are, from the sensors menu, choose data collection. We already know that the default mode of data collection is time-based. This is good because we are measuring the temperature change over time. However, 900 seconds is really not long enough for this particular experiment. We want to change the length of time to 45 minutes. Now this is much longer than the time it will take you to actually do this lab, but we want to have a cushion. We also want to take a data point every 30 seconds, so change the interval to two samples per minute. Once you have your experiment set up, hit the start button and begin heating. Remember that if we are using these hot plates, they are very, very hot. Keep them set on low. You also want to stir the ice with a temperature probe until it is completely melted. Once the ice is melted, you don't need to stir anymore, but make sure that only the metal part of the sensor is touching the water. You also want to make sure that you are only measuring the temperature of the water. Do not let the temperature probe rest on any part of the glass beaker. Continue heating until the water has boiled for at least five minutes. Make a note of the time and temperature where the ice completely melts and when the liquid begins to boil. When you have finished taking data, save your file on the LabQuest. Just go to File, Save, and give it a name. There is a USB connection cord that will plug the LabQuest into a computer. Do this and then open Logger Pro. You will probably get a message that asks you if you want to retrieve your data from the LabQuest. Yes, you would. You want to import the data into the current session. In the event that you do not get a message asking if you would like to import your data, you can still find it if you have saved it onto your LabQuest. Under File, choose LabQuest Browser and Open. Find your file and choose Open. This looks scary, but just click on Continue Without Data Collection at the bottom of the box. Print your graph and data table and add it to your lab notebook. Save your data to the desktop. Then write down the computer you are using, in case you need your data again. So before coming to lab, you need to have a few things set up in your lab notebook. 